subscribe to the channel. This is Kami. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let me tell you something, man. I am from Kansas City, okay? I'm from KCMO. So, you know, when people get on the media and they justify stuff and they're not from the town, kind of like an asshole. You do. JT. He talking about Kansas City and all the little shit that happened between Mac Dre and all that, nigga. And, nigga, you wasn't even around. You wasn't even in Kansas City. You wasn't fucking with Mac on that type of level. So, everything you saying is irrelevant, man. You know what you're trying to do? You're trying to put some spice and trying to get some fans and out of the, for that fucking, uh, you know what I'm saying, that fucking movie you trying to do, but man, they ain't gonna help you, man. They ain't gonna help you at all. So, with that being said, though, man, like, Fat Tone, now, on the other hand, he fucked with Cali. And one of his big homies was Sebo. See, a lot of people understand that. That's why uh, uh, JT, you know what I'm saying, the big faker, you know what I'm saying, he's not understanding that. That tone fucked with a lot of niggas in Cali. So when he was like, oh, well, you know, such and such, uh, went down there. He, he got set up and all that. And, 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 and J Diggs keep running back to Kansas City. Do you understand how many J Diggs fuck with KC? So a lot of Cali rappers fuck with KC. So they all had something to do with the Mac Dre shit. I'll wait. I'll wait. Listen to Sebo. Talk about Fat Tone. Now, I'm going to tell you something right now. If Fat Tone had any, like, issues with Cali, it would have took place with Sebo first. That was his man. You know what I mean? Fat Tone was a real motherfucker. That was my partner. Me and that nigga that did dirt together with him. You know what I mean? That was the nigga that I raised. Straight up. You know what I mean? Went to Kansas City, really blessed nigga, you know what I mean? He was tight, I put him on, and I stayed fucking with him, you know what I mean? Now, as far as what him and Mac Dre did, or whatever happened, I don't know what the fuck happened. I was in the penitentiary at the time. But I know for one thing that Fat Tone had a love for Mac Dre, you know what I mean? Because I, I done been down there with niggas, you know what I mean, doing concerts and all that shit. So I don't, I don't really understand how that shit happened. Them guys had multiple, you know what I'm saying, like concerts together like that. They just went the first time. They were cool. They were cool. Mac Dre and Fat Tone, you know what I'm saying, were like, you know what I'm saying, I wouldn't say they was like this, but they, you know what I'm saying, they fucked with each other, though. On that type of level, though. And they uh, associates they had, you know what I'm saying, had the same associates and stuff like that. You feels me? JT, do you feel me? Like, come on, man, you... You sound dumb over there, man. That yuck mouth thing was like, you sound, and yuck. <laughs> yuck. Can you let that man come on there and just, just, just own that whole thing like that, man? I feel like I just wanted to come through the phone, you know what I'm saying? And just wanted to, man, I'm telling you, though, just to listen to that dude, man. And he don't look healthy, though, man. He look like he's, he's some, you know, look like he got the, the pack, man. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with JT, though, man. You look like you got that pack, though. I mean, you look very unhealthy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Pretty much, I feel that was a mistaken uh, identity or some shit, or I don't know. You know, there's so many different stories toward that, toward that shit right there. But shit, rest in peace to both of them, man. You know what I mean? I can't say nothing, man. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. So, wasn't wasn't Fat Tone with you when when uh did you guys get shot at in Kansas City or were you shot? Yeah, yeah, shot? yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm saying you know Fat Tone was out there doing his thing, man. Okay. He was a nigga trying to get his money the best way he knew how, and you know repercussions came back. You know what I mean? But it's like you know we don't man, I don't damn near. We out there. We didn't, that, you know, it's been several incidents like that we didn't have out there. Well, you know what I mean? It's vice versa. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> That's just one that the news and all the police just, you know what I mean, where a nigga got hit. You feel me? Yeah. <coughs> so, you know, it's nothing, man. The street life and a nigga's been bred today, man. You know, we rooted into that type of shit, man. So let me tell you something. 
JT, the big faker. That's Sebo right there, though. I know you know Sebo. He knows you. That's another story. But uh, that would have came out already. If he was already on that type of level as far as like knocking niggas off or getting into it with Cali, nigga, Sebo already, they would have been funking. They would have been already at each other. Sebo lived out here, though. JT? <laughs> you just, I mean, you just look like you bumped your head, though, man. That, you know, those are expressions like, man, you must have bumped your head, though, but you look like it, though. <laughs> you look like it. But check it out, though. So when you keep talking that bullshit about, well, Kansas City must have had something to do with it. J. Diggs keep coming down here. And, 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 and. Do you understand that J. Diggs, man, fuck with niggas out here, though? You know, you don't understand that. He fuck with rappers. He fuck with niggas. He got certain individuals. I mean, like, you're not, you know what I'm saying, making sense, though. Because it's a lot of Kelly rappers that come out here, though. Or, did they have something to do with that, though? <laughs> and I'm going to tell you something. Another thing, though, before they even happened, Diggs was coming out here, though. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you got, you got it all... But see, you know what, JT? You're a prime example of, you know what I'm saying, the wasted extermination of um, our black culture. You're like, you're like the, the majority of like uh, how ones are. I swear a lot, you're not the only one. 